This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I wonder if my zebra frame would fit in the back. <laughs> That's the other thing that you haven't mentioned, isn't it? Yeah, the zebra frame and, and the, your colostomy and the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you could hang it there. <laughs> Gosh, you have to say though, just let's take it, take this in. I mean, this is a 15-year-old car. Yeah. I mean, look at it. Ah. <laughs> You're making old man noises. Yeah, just like you. Ah. No, I didn't then. <laughs> I very deliberately said You were thinking about it, exactly. I was, yeah. <laughs> well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to, well, a really, really rainy day here in the United Kingdom. And, I don't know about you, but the way I spend lots of my rainy days is browsing through Auto Trader for Absolutely. various cars, next projects that I want to buy, and um, just the things that I'm lusting after on Auto Trader. So, that's what we're going to do today, except it's a little bit different because you are mm. currently looking yeah. to, well, sell your Z4. I presume you're selling the Z4. Yeah, I want to upgrade the Z4 to something with four seats. Yes. But I still want a cabriolet experience. So you want a convertible, basically, but the Z4 is no longer adequate because you... Well, well the dog. Dog, yeah, we've got a dog now, and we're also expecting a grandchild. Yes. So yeah. I want something that actually... Not from me, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not. Yes, big news. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no. From my brother and yeah, yeah. his wife. Yeah. So uh, so something that would be a bit more practical for, okay. so for something, a something... third person or little person. And what sort of budget do you have to play with? I mean, not huge. No. Maybe six, seven grand. But this is why it's interesting, because... It's not a lot of money, and it means that the options there's, there's quite there are quite a few options. There are a few in terms options, of yeah. Cars. Yeah, um, yeah, and obviously I haven't researched how much I'd get for, for my Z4. I don't know where you've got any idea. Was it? It's a two point two point five two thousand three. It's done ninety thousand now. I don't know without looking, but I'd imagine. I mean, it's not in cosmetically. It needs work. It does um, need a bit. Mechanically, of work. it's great. Mechanically, really good. It's been serviced and maintained. It's had the roof motor refurbished and yeah, relocated yeah. and. Yeah. Um, coolant bits sorted on yeah. it recently. Hasn't um, it? Yes, it did, yeah. I thought it'd be interesting to yeah. do this on camera. One, because you guys are always asking for more Danny <laughs> when you see him appear in my videos, and you have been in a couple recently, yeah. and everyone's always commenting saying we should do more stuff yeah. together. So yeah. this will, because it's raining, I was actually going to go out and do some filming with the RS6 today, but obviously um, it's just not, it's not ideal, is it? Not great, and the car's really filthy, and it needs to get yeah. clean. And I want to do that properly. So we won't do that today, but we can sit and chat about cars, and I guess we can look at some auto trader at some options. Yeah, I'd love that. You've been sending some stuff to me and I've sent some stuff to you, but yeah. I also figured that there'll be things out there that we're not we thinking of. We haven't talked about yet. You guys watching can, can comment and um, make some suggestions. So essentially, so then let's just summarize. So you're looking yeah. for something that's four seats. Yeah. Also gives you the ability to put the top down. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're not compromising on power slash performance. No. Definitely not because you basically to do that. still want that element of fun, and it's not just performance. It's I, I want. A, I mean, because you know you can get a four pot that might have the same performance. Yeah, but you like um, that sound. But, and yeah, I want, but I want, the, I want the smoothness of delivery, power delivery that a straight six or a V six gives you. I just, I've just really fallen in love with that mm. with my Z four, and want want to, you know, the, this car is, is both want well, practical, but the the number one criteria is enjoyment. Okay, actually, cool. Um, and so I wouldn't want to compromise on that in terms of the straight six or the V6. So we're looking for, if we go body type, we're looking for a convertible. Convertible, yeah. So there's 19,651 options available okay. currently. Um, we would like a petrol. Yeah. That brings it down to 15,842. <laughs> engine size, we'll leave that, but engine power. power yeah. So we say minimum 200. 200 yeah, definitely. Because that'll probably that'll rule out the four most, pots, most of them. Actually, aspirated yeah. four pots, yeah. Gearbox will say manual for now, yeah. And seats will put four. four. So that gives us four hundred and twenty cars, and then we're going to go with a maximum budget of say, let's go eight grand, just yeah. so that we're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's always wiggling room on some of these cars. Yeah, and obviously I don't know what I'm going to get for the trade in. That it's it's the residual price is the issue, isn't it? It's the, it's what I, the difference between what I get yeah. for that and what I pay is. So, issue. actually, there's only 86 cars fitting that criteria. Wow. okay. So, I guess we can filter it by lowest. 
And the very first thing that comes up is actually something I've got favorited. Oh, a Saab. Is a Saab 9.3 2 litre turbo aero. Which is so quite a funny. a four pot though, isn't it? That is a four pot, but it's just quite funny that that is a car I favorited because that is something I mean, I'm I have... looking at buying for a certain project, which you know about, but these ah, guys don't. Okay, yes. Oh, yes, I do know. <laughs> um, I, so, d I have always had a soft spot for Saabs, actually. The Saab convertible always struck me as... I mean, it's been around a long time, the Saab convertible. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe that. And it's fairly unchanged. 120,000 miles, less than 1,500 quid. Before we continue, let me just share a quick message from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the one-stop shop for all things website. It's super easy to claim a domain or URL and create a custom site that matches your style and bring your idea to life. We're currently designing a website for the It's Joel YouTube channel, something which is very, very exciting and super intuitive using Squarespace. There's a plethora of website designs for you to choose from when you're getting started. And once you are editing and designing your website, there's lots and lots of useful tools to help you along the way. One in which I'm using quite often is the mobile optimization tool. Literally by the click of one button, you can see how your website's gonna look on mobile. And with lots of my audience being mobile users, it's extremely important to me that the website is optimized and looks great on mobile. What's best though, is that you can head to squarespace.com forward slash it's Joel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code it's Joel. Okay, so if we go past the Saabs, the first thing that comes up is something you sent me this morning. Oh, I actually. did, yeah. It's in 2006, just shy of 80,000 miles. It's got a MOT on it, great. Six speed manual, and it's obviously a soft top convertible. Yeah. And it's from 2006 with the 3.2 V6. I think it's quite a good It's a nice car, looking car, isn't it? What's um, the performance on that? So if we go down into specification, performance. 250 horsepower, so uh, about 40 more than what you've got in that, but obviously we're going to be a bit heavier. A bit more, Mike, that's 192. 192, okay, but it's 1.7 tonnes there, so that's probably more like 1.5. Yeah, so, so but I mean, to 60 wise, 6 .8, that's just about quicker. Just, that's a bit quicker than that. I think that's 7 something, isn't 7 .1, it? 7.1, I think. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. So, so that's perfectly acceptable to me. But yeah, I think, you know, to be honest, your, you getting your CLK is what has made taken me down this track of thinking, you know what, I don't have to compromise on a soft top or a cabriolet uh, if I want a bit more practicality. Mm. Uh, okay, so 2006 so, Audi A4 shape, we'll chuck that on the shortlist. I mean, that's a good price as well, isn't it? Man? Well, it's four grand for 80,000 miles. I mean, we'd have to look into a bit more about why it's that A nice much. colour as well, actually. I do, yeah, it's nice, nice blue. Right, and then the next sort of thing that comes up is one that you'll probably, would you say, is, ooh, look at that in a second. Yeah. Um, sort of top of your yes and so it's it's the e93 shape yeah um bmw 3 series yeah yeah and um you can get these in various specifications lots of them are these m specs but yeah they might look a bit nicer but they have slightly harsher suspension yeah. i Gosh, think that's a good price isn't it four grand yeah but there's this one here for five grand which that's... is twenty thousand less miles and it's an se which is slightly softer isn't it i believe so yeah and it's beige yeah, I'm so not... it's perfect for a man of your age, if you're senior. I'm not even going to respond to that. You could drive that uh, straight to it, the car it's, home. it's beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if my zero frame would fit in the back. <laughs> That's the other thing that you haven't mentioned, isn't it? Yeah, the zero frame and, and your colostomy the walk... bag. <laughs> you could hang it there. <laughs> 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 just don't get in an accident. Oh, um, gosh. Um, <laughs> this is quite an old man spec, isn't it? Because it's beige exterior yeah. with beige interior. Yeah. yeah. Although I, I don't actually, I'm not completely adverse to that beige. Is it weird that I love that? I love that. I think that's what, so... What, the, the colour? It just screams old money. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's not really beige, is it? It's Beige it's, would be a bit harsh. I wonder if it says what it what is. Does it, but... It's almost a goldy... Bronze, it says. Bronze, yeah. I mean, bronze is probably a bit... Um, Pushing it. Pushing it a bit. So... Oh, those seats look like mine. Electric seats. But they don't look like sport. the sport seats. No, they won't be because that'll be... Because the, of the SE. Yeah, got it. It's the SE. Okay. I would imagine it would be a bit quieter with it being the hard top. Yeah, so we should mention that, is that this is actually a hard top convertible, isn't it? Which does mean, um, potentially, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll feel quieter. I think, and that's, it looks nice. It's not a bad I mean, looking... Hard top convertibles can be a little bit dodgy, I think. Um, 
Well, Especially in terms of the mechanism, you mean? No, in terms of the, the way they look. I think the new the 4 Series looks a bit odd, but the oh, 3 yeah. Series yeah. does seem to suit it a bit better. Yeah, it, it looks... Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think the convertible inherently will look not, looks nicer, but you're getting sort of that extra refinement, hopefully. Yeah. With the hardtop, again, it really is a case of going out and driving. I mean, because the, yeah. from experiences in the E89s, which this is the same it, they were making these at the same time oh the, the e89 z4 yeah the i don't know how similar the roof mechanism is but they're quite rattly well, they oh can, really they can be quite rattly. Oh, right okay so obviously that would be something to, to check yeah, out but we'd have and, to drive and if you know. guys own them then do yeah, please let yeah, us know i'd love but, to know actually your experience um yeah, yeah i yeah, you can't really fault that and that's at five grand seventy four thousand miles in 2007, 2007 there's another one here which is a year older similar mileage two that photos any, that's helpful that's useless this is so this is why this is interesting because yeah. i hadn't thought about this a volvo does that not excite you <laughs> that looks cool I, I know it no talking about calling me an old man on the way to the care home i guess the problem is is for me in my head that's what volvo says old man on the way Vol to the care home. yeah yeah um mm. and Having said that, I think that looks pretty cool. That I actually quite, nice I quite like the look of it. I mean, the, with those angles at the back, you know how the back haunches have got that sort of slight raised, the boot is slightly raised. And I think, I mean, I think that's really well What's designed. What's the interior like on this? So this is the 2006 V70 Lux. Yeah, so yeah, the interior, see, that floating console thing that... Um, they do, it, yeah. I'm not a big fan. And again, all these flipping buttons... It's very no, of I mean, the time. That just looks like it. It looks like a really old mobile phone. It does actually, doesn't that it? That middle bit. I mean, you have to remember. This always blows my mind. This 2006 Volvo C70 came out a year before the original iPhone. I know. I know. I mean, that I is that I know, does. I know. Yeah, because I remember. Do you remember? My mind. Do you remember that holiday we had where the place we were staying had iPods? Yes. It, no, not iPods. What were they, they called? Were iPod um, touches. iPod touches. Yeah. And they had them mounted in the side of each bed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it could... was the first time we'd ever seen anything. Yeah, like and it that. was like we couldn't believe and it. Was it. Like I could check the weather in the morning. I know. And we thought that was amazing, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> and you, and it and it was rigged up to speakers under the beds. And that probably would have been two thousand nine, two thousand ten. No, that was two. Th I know what year it was. It was two thousand eight. Right. Um, cause it Gosh. Was a, it was a year after we'd moved. So uh, this car is two years older than that. Yeah. So you know. Okay. So this is an Audi S four. It's the four point two V eight. 350 horsepower. Okay. This one's ropey, which is why it's within budget. But that's What's just ropey quite, about it? Well, I just saw a photo of one of the wheel arches. It looked a bit uh, damaged. Oh, and it hasn't even got leather. Well, I think it's half leather. The Alcantara is all right, though. Yeah, yeah that, I could live with that. But yeah, look, look at the power. 340 horsepower, 5.9 to 60. Lovely Let's stuff. look at the... Uh, as I said to you Ooh, about... running costs. Yes, let's look at the... Uh, 20 MPG combined. Yeah, and that's obviously going to be optimistic, isn't it? Well, optimistic's 27. Realistic Which, 20. Okay, I could live. I could probably live with that. I mm. could probably live with that. Audi S4 Cabriolet for Dad. Well, I, I, I've always, I've always liked the thought of a V8. I have to say, <laughs> mini convertible. No, no too, too small. small. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. One series. Yeah. 2008. Don't you think again? What, I wonder how much bigger that actually that's is. That's a lovely, mini. lovely. They do. Car. I think it's a convertible that works. I agree. I think the gorgeous. shape. Gorgeous. Hello, interesting. Look, look at the picture of the roof up. I think it looks way better with the roof down. If you look Hang at the roof up, I it's got a slightly round. It's sort of slightly domey. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like the Z4 actually. Mm, no, because it sh it feels uh, it feels shorter than the, the Z4 is because it's long. That, yeah, that I shape, would. Do you know what I mean? It, it just looks a little bit. Um, it would be interesting stumpy. to go and have a look at one of these, but from looking at photos, I would imagine this is really not a true two plus two. It's uh, exactly two plus half. Yeah, of whatever two is, because I don't think you could get two adults in there. True. Comfortably. Yes. Last thing then, because <clears throat> it's it's come up quite a lot, is the larger end in, engine three series convertibles. Yes. So this is a three thirty five i. Oh wow. Which is a three liter. Yeah. Turbo. Nice. So there's not what. So is there anything we've missed? Well, possibly by all the filters we've done. So we might have missed something that is actually less than two hundred horsepower, but actually is really. Because I did see um, when I had a quick look um, earlier. I did see. Although I don't think I'd be interested in this, but I'm just going to mention it in case other people think of this. So the VW EOS. 
they actually do a V6. I did see a couple of those, actually. Oh, did? I don't think they were the V6s, so I didn't touch on them, but there were a couple on here, yeah. yes. But there, they, there is a V6 version, which presumably is the same. Is that What engine would that be? It'd be the same one as... The Audi. Um, Maybe, similar. Or is it the same one as the um, Golf R? The main problem with Was the these... Golf R a V6? No, no, Golf R. Well, back in the day. Back in the day, that's what I mean, yeah. this is Ooh, back, Well, this is gosh. back in the day, isn't it? Well, so sorry. About. So actually, yes. Yeah, so if you got a V6 EOS, I'm guessing it would be the R32 yes, engine. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Which is yeah. a really yeah. The only problem with the EOS is it's a Golf on the inside. The, yeah, it's just very. I mean, having said that, so, so is the the Octavia is basically a Golf interior, and I I, yes. quite, I quite like it. But do you want that for your special no convertible? Exactly. Bus? You know, you want yeah. something that's a little bit more. I don't want to feel. I'm, and also, seats are horrible. Look they at those seats. Horrendous. Disgusting. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is really gross. Okay, so basically then, if there are any other cars that you guys can think of that yeah. fit or... or Because it's possible there's other things out there that just aren't for sale at the moment, rarer things. That's true, that we haven't thought um, of. And obviously buy the filters with the mileage and power, and we might have missed a couple. So if there's anything, firstly, out there that you can think of that meets that criteria or is similar, maybe missing a couple of things, but similar, let us know. Because obviously we didn't look at any Mercs there because oh, yeah. they're automatic. all automatic. Yeah. And we didn't look at any Jags there because they because you might be able to get an older Jag within that. And what um, about the Saabs? Did we finish? Did, we only saw the two litre ones on here, but I think they do do a V6. I think there was actually, yeah. So that would yeah. be another one as well. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a few then to go and look at. I think yeah, the, yeah. Main, the main one sounds like it will be the Beamer, definitely. I think the Beamer's top of my list at the moment, but and that's without having driven it. Audi. And the Audi, yeah, I think the Audi's a... S4. That S4 excites me, but it's because it's a manual V8. Yeah. And that's such yeah. a rare... Yeah, but that's that's a good reason <clears throat> to be excited, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So they're the two top ones, an S4... And I think they look pretty good. Three series, 25 or 30 yeah. or 35. Um, we can try and find a couple of those to drive. Yeah. Actually, if any of you guys own those cars and would be willing to let us come and use them for an afternoon, just yeah. have a bit of a play and, um, you know chuck a little video out on youtube then do do comment below or send me an email that would be really cool yeah otherwise we'll have a look around some dealerships and, and go from there but yeah i nice thought one. why not sort of do this as a little series on youtube because yeah, it's yeah. a bit of fun isn't it no and, it's um, fun it's really we'll, fun. we would do this anyway regardless of the channel we, we always absolutely would yeah would go and do this so um <laughs> i'm i'm away for the next few days but when i'm back um why don't we go and look at some cars yeah It looks like it's piano black oh, yeah. trims and then red interior leather. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Listen to that. You have to say though, just let's take it, take this in. I mean, this is a 15 year old car, yeah. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's I, I love, I mean, you can obviously they've just done a polish over it, so you know actually, what? if you buff this out, I don't know how scratchy I'm it not, would look. I'm, but... I'm not a massive fan of the piano black ordinarily, but I think with the red interior, it works perfectly. To be honest with you, it doesn't look as old as it is, does it? No, it really does. With, with the black and the red, it and really the is... wheel seems in good condition and as well. Nice steering wheel. Yeah, and yeah, even just sort of the leather is nice. You know, it reminds me a lot of my M240i. Yeah. Because I mean, well, it is the same. I know, and it's sort of like a mini version, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, and then you've got cup holders here. Yeah. One for the passenger and one for the driver. Yeah. And then there's obviously the one here, uh, the you know cup holder there, and your augs and your cigarette lighter. And I think, as I say, this, yeah, I think that basically no. blows it. That's what I read. Maybe, on. maybe it's That's a vent what, thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not super cold aircon at the moment, so you can't really tell. It's got automatic lights. I mean, it's just the standard stuff, isn't it? I quite like this on these as well. Look. Yeah, the big bins. Oh, that's interesting. It's got the um, 
locking wheel nut. Locking wheel nut there. Yeah, they're quite handy and you can get a lot of stuff in them. Yeah, so that's quite good. Um, and then if that's the back there, it's very cramped, isn't it? There's not much room at all, but you could well, we probably just get in the back there. Should we try? Yeah. Okay, let's have a go. Oh, so obviously it's not ideal with this. I can't actually sit down with this thing here. Oh yeah, okay, maybe not then. Um, but I think when I sat in one the other day, but let's just put this back and have a look. I've just moved it. I mean, that's basically like economy class, isn't it? You've got enough room. Maybe Ryanair. When I, oh, and this is the other thing, Joel, like I should told you about. This is cup holders as well, look. Yep. Oh. That's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got a bit of poke. <laughs> Did you floor it? Almost. Oh, I was going for the clutch then. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. So what did you say, down? So if you flicked a paddle now. Which way? Up. Either, any. Maybe down. Push. No, okay, so I think you have to do this, where you pull the yeah. push it across. It's... There you go. I'm not sure the paddles are working for whatever reason, I'm not quite sure. turbo lag yeah there's definitely a bit of a um, I mean it's not massive but it sort of doesn't feel instant mm. you put your foot down it's like there's a bit of a delay yeah can you feel it does it um, to be honest I've just been driving an RS6 for the past two weeks <laughs> yeah. so it True. feels really slow to me yeah um, no I think it's because it's automatic so you're, you're what you're doing is kick down Yes. So there's a bit of delay it, before anything happens. Yeah, of course. If you could work the manual out, then obviously you can be in your gear ready at the rev Yeah, range. so like what's DS stand for then? Well, DS is just sports, so that's drive. Which is just sports, just so favours. Try and see if manual will work again. Well, you can upshift and downshift using this, but for whatever reason, I don't. I might be something I don't know. So let's just, so if I wanted to do manual shift. So let's just, so put it in, so flick it across, and yeah. then go up. Go And then I go up with the, how do you do it though? Push. So that's now in third. I mean, gosh, yeah. And then down is upshift. Like that. But I think I just want you to try a second gear pull. So if you slow right down to about 30, and then up twice. Got it. And then just wait, let the revs settle a bit. Build it slowly. Go on, go on. Accelerate a little bit, sort of half power up to about three grand floor it. So there you go, that's the power. Yeah, you want to pull oh. back. <laughs> Don't shift into first at 60. Yeah. Would it actually do it? Would it actually no, do it? No, it wouldn't do it. it, wouldn't do it. I mean, yeah, yeah, so it's nice, isn't it? It's I think there's fair to say there's plenty of power. There is plenty of power. Although it's, it's a lovely sound. It is, isn't it? Really, it really good is. sound. I'm just going to do that again because I'm addicted to that now. <laughs> And then obviously if you want to put it back See into... So this... okay, I don't know what the suspension is. So I'm just putting it back into drive. So it's, so a speed bump at 20 miles an hour. It's fine. I mean, that's fine. I mean, to be honest, the tires look a bit flat. They don't look like good tires no. and the suspension probably needs a refresh anyway, so. Yeah, that was, I enjoyed that a lot. I mean, it's such, I mean, yeah, what an engine. Okay. Yeah, I do like this interior. I have to say, I wasn't expecting to but the black and the red. And of course, we haven't driven it with the roof off, so that sound will be even more pronounced. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah I have to say, if you, I think if you can find, say you've decided to go with this, yeah. right? And you can stretch up to that seven grand. Yeah, yeah. Or seven and a half. I think for that money, you can find a pretty mint one of these with around 80K miles. Yeah, yeah. Manual, one that's been owned by an enthusiast. So probably yeah. I'd rather buy a private, honestly, than somewhere like this that okay. just buys them in on the trade. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if, if the previous owner has been a real enthusiast that's had it serviced somewhere like RBM and, you know, I would always rather buy private if that's yeah. the sort of owner than, yeah, than, true. Um, than this. But anyway, yeah, I think for that money, you could probably get a really nice one of these in the spec you want. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not nothing, sure, nothing I'm not sure the, the iDrive's not a deal breaker. 
No, but it'd be interesting for you to... I think it's quite similar to what I have on the 7. Oh, it is, In terms yeah. of functionality. It is, it's very similar. Have you played with one yet? No. Um, it's because... a bit, it'll be slightly updated, so there will be more features. Yeah, so, no, I haven't played one, but I've, what I've seen on videos and stuff, it looks very similar to yours, the graphics and stuff. And Aesthetically say, speaking, it looks nicer without it, to be honest. Maybe, sort of but flat. I, I don't mind that sort of dome there, you know. Um, but, yeah, this is... I mean, the quality... I mean, you have, yeah, you just it's just got... It's just oozes quality, doesn't it? I mean, I still, you know, I still like what we jokingly call the old man spec. You know, I still do quite like the a nice bit of, you know, walnut veneer or something. You know? I, do you know what? If I was to buy one of these, and I, I would go for bronze exterior, cream interior, yeah. walnut dash. Yeah. Because yeah. I think it's just... That, know, that would be my... And, and again, being totally honest, if you go for an SE example that's spec like that, yeah. it's very unlikely that a boy, a boy racer... Boy racer's had it. Yeah, it's going to be a sensible owner, isn't it? Because... Lots of these are cheap, yeah, uh, and affordable, relatively speaking. Young drivers can get into them and they drive them, you know, like you just have, but the whole yeah, time, but the whole time, and probably yeah. don't do maintenance and stuff. So, I'd yeah. say the most important thing with, with these cars, and in yeah. fact, the S4 and whatever it is you end up buying, is, yeah. is definitely history and yeah, yeah. who's owned it, yeah, yeah. But I think you guys in the comments would agree the E9XX generation of, of 3 Series has certainly, 9X, I just call it 9X, 9X yeah. has aged so so well. From the exterior, actually, and interior too. So yeah. let me know if you agree, but I think it's, yeah, oh, yeah. I think it's a gorgeous car. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> now that's proper fast. Yeah, that's fast. Yeah. Can I just say, sorry, this is 600 horsepower on the yes. as Traction control's off and it's wet and it, I just floored it. Oh, traction control's off? It's off. That's crazy. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Can I, my personal opinion, yeah, go on. buying from, I'm trying to think actually, have I actually, I don't think I've ever bought a car from a dealer. Didn't That's you not buy... true, the Range Rover was from a dealer, but that was sort of a Not bit, really a dealer. A bit different. The M240i, that was private. Yeah. The Mercedes was private. Yeah. My 7 Series was, what, JM on cars, so sort of off a friend. Yeah. Um, the Z4 actually didn't. And am that I right? was a dealer. That was a dealer, but they gave it you at trade price. Is that right? Yeah, because I opted for no warranty. That's right. But yeah, my opinion is uh, I don't. I guess it depends, doesn't it? At this sort of level, it doesn't matter ever so much. But I don't really like buying it de uh, from dealers at this sort of price level because they're not. They're, yeah, their margins are so small. And I'm, look, I'm not a car dealer, so I don't actually know, but. From what I've understood from knowing people who do do it, their margins are so tiny, so they will skimp on things that you know. If you're paying more money for a car, that you'd expect the car to be in a certain condition, yeah, they will skimp on things like that. I would, I would happily pay the same money for a private car. Oh, you would, okay. yeah, absolutely. So it's not about saving again. Money. It's, it's all with, with these sorts of Beamers, yeah, and older cars because it's 15 years old, yeah. You want, yeah, where you're buying it from is really important. Yeah. Based on what you think the history it's had has been. Um, and, you know, something like that car we just drove. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I haven't actually looked into it. No. Um, but that potentially could have just been a trade in, you know, someone's yeah. car that's and been neglected for a while and they yeah. said, oh, we'll just trade it in. And then Nee's bought it off a main dealer, probably. Because I think that's what tends to happen. Well, may, maybe, but it might have just come straight to him, you know, because he runs a used car dealership. They might have yeah. bought something from him, and that could yeah. have been a part X. Yeah, because he had quite a range of cars, didn't exactly. he? Exactly. So either way, he will then try and turn it around as quickly as possible. And he's not a specialist. It's not going to yeah. have the best inspection. Whereas someone that has literally owned the car for three, four more years and has had a has always had it serviced every yeah. year at RBM Hampshire. And when you go and buy it, they said, oh yeah, you know, this service record. I've had this, this, and this done. And you know that you, you know exactly what you're buying. Yeah. More sure. so. And I think my other, <clears throat> the other thing I'm a bit nervous about with that um, 335i is that it's a twin turbo engine. And from what I've read, and again, you know, Pil can tell me if I'm wrong, but I, I think it's a little, just a little less reliable than the N50, N52 engine just because of, you've got more that go wrong. The yeah. turbos, sure. Yeah. So 335i is driven. Yeah. Definitely still on the list. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, definitely the E93, absolutely 100 percent on the list. Cool. Awesome. 100 percent on the list. And I think Love the S4, I think the S4 has got to be pretty special. That's the, the next intrigued thing you are. Yeah. That makes the thing no I'm sense. intrigued about. Yeah. The and most. Particularly, yeah. Particularly the fact that you can get a V8. So. Yeah, a very pleasant experience, I would say. 
Good. Well, I'm glad we got to do that today. Yeah. And um, yeah, hopefully this was right, providing sorry some sort of entertainment for the audience. Yes. Three series sort of done, but we you know like to try a manual yeah, three yeah. liter or maybe another manual um, three thirty five I or something. Three thirty five I, yeah. And then we're going to try the S4. And that's yeah. about it for now. Maybe we'll see if we can do a six series. But for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any of these cars of interest, as always, and your opinions, because yeah. we really like to hear them. Definitely. Because um, your opinions are far more useful than sort of what we could find online, just reading yeah, for sure. keyboard warrior forums. So yeah, thanks so much for yeah, watching. Yeah, first hand experience is so important, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, thanks all very much. And we should see you very, very soon. We will.